especially remember former Badger Monte Ball for all his success on the field and at Camp Randall, as well as his struggles with addiction and an arrest that cut his professional career short. Now he's working to change the drinking culture on game days, and he joins our Christina Lori live this morning with what he's up to now. Christina, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh and Keeley. Monty Ball is proof you don't need alcohol to have fun at a Badger game. Yes, even here in the state of Wisconsin. Tomorrow, Monty Ball will be out here cheering on the Badgers at Camp Randall, but this morning, he's here with us. Good morning. So, what is the idea this season during the away games? You're going to be hosting a series of, like, sober tailgate parties over at Marcus Palace. Can you talk about those? Yeah, it's honestly something that uh, I wanted to kind of put together. Something fun for the fans who may be living in a deforest area, Marshall, Wanakee, um, who don't want to kind of come down here and experience the Badger experience while the Badgers are away and also create a family environment. So teamed up with Marcus Plus Eater to kind of give fans what they want, that experience uh, with their families and uh, some good service. And so it's been a while since you've been on the field here at Camp Randall, but I can't not address your amazing career with the Badgers. What was the best part of playing for the team? Honestly, I'd have to say the fans. Um, other than teammates, of course, I played with some greats, Russell Wilson, J.J. Watt, Melvin Gordon, James, etc. Plenty more, excuse me if I'm missing you, but um, the fans, man. It's always been the fans since uh, the day I accepted my full, uh, full ride scholarship here to, uh, to my last day. It's, it's been a heck of a ride, and I most definitely miss it. <laughs> and you've been through a lot since you, uh, you know, got rid of your Badgers yeah. uniform. You <laughs> traded in for a pro team, then you went through that. What were the fans like during all of those circumstances? That's honestly why I always say it's about the fans. It really is because um, my fans most definitely have forgiven me. Um, mainly because of the steps that I've taken, um, owned up to my mistakes and everything. And, and they've been true to, to me and uh, their Badgers <laughs> um, ever since I have you know, became a Badgers fan. Um, so it's one of those things that uh, I believe they're second to none when it comes to college football or, or college fans all across the country. Thanks so much for talking to us. And we're going to keep you out here. At, coming up at 6.30, we're going to get Monty Ball's predictions for the Badgers season this year. He doesn't know that I'm going to ask them <laughs> yet, so he's going to be formulating those, Keely and Josh. All right, Christina Laurie live at Camp Randall this morning. Christina, thank you.